Okay, YouTube. To all the YouTube subs that like cars. Today we're going to talk about everything that's wrong with my 2015 BMW 650i. And let's see. It's going to get. Let's start with the outside. And I bought this car used as a trade-in for my very, very raggedy piece of shit Corvette. And the logic is the, the vet was new, brand new. Only had four miles on it, 2017. And it was in the shop. Two months after I got it for some major issues. And I just got sick of it. I figured I might as well be, be driving a used car. You know, so I've always had Beamers. I just went back to BMWs. So I bought this one, 2015 from CarMax. And the things that are wrong with it, it's not much. It's all cosmetics, be honest with you. The rims are pretty dinged up. And I think they quoted me like $100 a shot to uh, refurbish all of them. Which eventually I'm going to do. It has some paint defects. Uh, it might have even been respray, but just your typical dings and nicks. You probably can't see. The car's dirty right now, but this I don't understand what the hell they were doing here. Like it's like they oversprayed it or attempted to spray it or whatever. You got a couple of dings right there. But I mean, for a used car, this is the only thing I think is just really, you know, what the fuck I want to get fixed. But it looked like they sprayed it. They sprayed this bumper. And of course the Carfax says it wasn't in a wreck. So I assume that this was a lease, a fleet car and probably with a big organization and they attempted to spray, but you can see how it was really shitty. What they did. They maybe even sprayed the whole car. But that's that's a blemish. Uh, and you got, you know, your standard rock chips and things. Which is why I didn't ceramic coat it, because I think I would have had to get that fixed to really make it look right. And this car, I mean, I only bought it to have it for a couple of years, ready to get rid of the vet. Got some couple of hits here. I think I did that myself. This rim, that's actually paint. This is the better looking rim. So if I did that recently, the curb rash, but this rim is actually warped because I had it balanced, because I had a, a little, when I put a new tire on it, it had a little wobble, really small. And uh, I took it, and they said that, yeah, it had a, uh, it had a little wobble in it. Could probably be fixed, but I think I'm just gonna replace it. Uh, we had a nick here, small nick. Engine-wise, it's perfect. I did have a PCV. PCV or PVC valve system replace, which was covered under warranty. This rim doesn't look that bad. I think this is paint, yeah. It doesn't look that bad, but they all got nicks on them. And again, the car is dirty. I should have did this when it was washed, but it's kind of hard to get videos done. So I have to do it when I have to do it. This is not what's called, that's dirt. It's not any kind of scars, but again, the rims. So the rims to fix is about 500. To spray that bumper is about 500. Uh, and then you got little nicks like this where they spot painted. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to fix that. Cause the real point of this car is, I've been driving it about two years. I'm gonna let the uh, 
that 2018 F50. It was a 2019, I mean 850. Let it drop in uh, price from depreciation. And then I'm either going to sell this and get the 850. Because I love that 850. But that's it. There's nothing mechanically wrong with this car. I mean, you know, you can have the standard. You got to replace the brakes eventually. But right now, they're good. They got good meat on them. The inside of the car, for all practical purposes, this is perfect. There's not a blemish in here, which is one of the reasons I bought it. I mean, I don't, you know, see any major issues here this was a little scratch but if i was going to keep this i was going to get the uh carbon fiber for this they sell those for all of that but yeah that's pretty much all that's wrong with this car is the paint defects which can be expected for a car which i think i bought it with fifty-two thousand miles on it got 55 now and so it's not a lot wrong with this car I had that one mechanical issue and that's it and uh, yeah it's great I think it was a good buy you can even get some uh, back pops I love it. I've always liked BMWs and I know they're expensive as hell when they break. But if you keep them under scheduled maintenance, they're not that bad to own. They're not that bad to own at all. But yeah, that's the problems. The only issues with this car is the paint defects. And uh, I'll do another video discussing how much I paid for it. Which really wasn't a bad price at all. My note went up like a That's only because I'm doing it for a less number of years. But we'll talk about that later. In any case, peace.